Good afternoon, I am Andrew Heaney, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the biggest staples of pop culture of all time. No, not that one. Or that. Actually, let's just get to the case. Star Wars. Star Wars. I love Star Wars, or I love a few of their films. There's some that are good, and there's a few that are shit, and there's some that are okay, but whatever. I won't talk about the quality of all the films at once, since that is too much to do. So instead, I'm going to be talking about the one that started it all, Star Wars, or as some people call it, A New Hope. A New Hope was released in 1977 and was directed by... George Lucas. It also stars Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, rest in peace, Harrison Ford, Peter Mayhew, James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader, and many other characters. Many other great iconic characters. Where do I begin with this movie? I'll start with uh, the obvious. From a technical standpoint, this film is pretty much flawless. Even those that aren't as good are still really charming and amazing effects. From a sound perspective, both the music and the award-winning sound design is incredible. The score from John Williams is the most iconic score of all film. Mwah. Props to you, you deserve the Oscar. The story of the film follows young Luke Skywalker who is thrust in by old Obi-Wan Kenobi played by Alec Guinness. Actually, interesting story, he was supposed to be played by Toshiro Mifune from Seven Samurai and a bunch of other Akira Kurosawa films. But he turned down the roles and went to Alec Guinness. Actually, side note, I kind of want to see the Shiro Mifune as, as Obi-Wan. That's one of my favorite actors of all time. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So, it follows them as they try to help the princess from the Hidden Fortress from the evil Galactic Empire. Okay, fine, I get it, I know, I know. It's the same story as the Hidden Fortress. Akira Kurosawa's 1958 samurai film, but who cares? They're both masterpieces. If this film was not a masterpiece, then yeah, I'd probably accuse it much less, but this film is very entertaining. It's one of the most entertaining movies I've ever seen. It's not one of my favorite movies for multiple reasons. One, it's not as good as Empire. Two, some of the effects do not hold up, but a lot of it is great. Three, Luke and Han are kind of annoying at points. Insert one clip to summarize my point. Doesn't look like we have much of a choice, but I'll remind him. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. Yeah. And normally I'd nitpick the fight choreography, but I'd say it's more like some other critics have said. The fight choreography between Obi-Wan and Vader is more about the, the two characters meeting for the first time and their internal and external struggle than it is about cool choreography, like, later down the line. <clears throat> I will give credit where credit is due. This is one of the best sci-fi movies, sci-fi epics of all time. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite movies, though, but it is a masterpiece. So I'm giving it a big ol' 9 out of 10. Now that my score is over with, I'm gonna talk briefly about the special editions. I don't hate it. Okay, fine. There are three, and they're major changes from A New Hope, theatrical to the special edition, that pissed me off. Rito shooting first, everyone's already talked about that. The reason why I hate it is what everybody else has said. All the CGI animals on Tatooine, all of them, those lizard thingies, those giant sauropod dinosaur-like thingies, they all look terrible. And especially when they block the camera. And the third is the Jabba scene. It completely, and I mean completely, ruins the tension of the build-up to the Millennium Falcon. Wait, am I forgetting so? Oh yeah! It also ruins the build-up to Jabba the Hutt. <clears throat> it also Boba Fett's thrown in there for no reason. Like, that was necessary. But that being said, the rest of the changes from the special editions, and there are quite a lot of them, lots of ADR lines, lots of subtle changes, lots of touch-ups to some mediocre-looking visual effects. Like the ship shots, like some ship shots in the final battle do actually look better. They don't look great, but they do look better. It's just the subtle changes and the echo improvements and some text changes on some screens that I actually think are for the better. 
That being said, yeah, I am kind of offended by the fact that, you know, yeah, the originals are not available on high definition. Anyway, enough about the special editions. So, that's all I have to say about A New Hope, and in the next week I'll be reviewing, hopefully in the next few days, I'll be reviewing Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Sorcerer's Stone, whatever it's called. Uh, I'll, I'll refer to it as Sorcerer's in my review, just because that's what it says on my DVD. So I'm going to be reviewing that film next, because I want to. And so, that's all I have to say about Star Wars. See you next time.